Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Uh, we've got a pretty exciting product to take a look at today. Uh, the brand new ZWO ASI 2600 MM Pro, the monochrome version of the 2600. Uh, just came out. I got in a pre-order pretty early. I think I got one of the first shipments. Uh, but unfortunately, it's been sitting on my desk for about a month because it's been cloudy and I've been super busy with a few other projects. But finally, getting a chance to open it up. Uh, the clouds are going to break probably Monday night, and we're going to have a lot of clear skies next week. So, excuse me, we need to get this baby opened up and take a look at it. Uh, it's got the brand new Sony IMX 571 uh, monochrome sensor, rear illuminated with the 16-bit uh, ADC. That's an analog to digital converter, and it's going to pull down reportedly about 14 stops of dynamic range at unity gain and that's impressive um now they advertise a, a 50,000 electron well depth but that's at zero gain okay if you've got if you're shooting at unity it's only going to be like 10,500 electrons which you know isn't bad but you're only going to get that 50,000 that really those deep pockets if you're shooting at zero gain um, so that's something to be mindful of, but I'm missing a bunch of stuff that I wanted for this review. I, I, there's a hyperstar that's been in the mail for two months, apparently. Um, I should have that soon though. The, the people have not disappeared. I've spoken with them on the phone. I should have my hyperstar soon. Uh, a lot of filters that I'm missing. So I'm just going to stick it on the back of my 11 inch edge and see what happens. Uh, shooting at F10. Um, I've got an L-Pro filter that we can play with. Uh, but yeah, I don't have any of my narrowband filters or anything yet. So I'm just going to put it on the back of my 11-inch edge, just shoot it at F10 with an L-Pro and see how it looks. But that's not going to be for a couple days. So today, all we're going to do is unbox it and uh, give some first impressions. And uh, I'm going to take some darks too. I can do some darks tonight. I'm going to find 12 volts to plug into it and uh, cool it down and take some darks and see how that goes. Uh, but let's get started. All right, so here's our box. Uh, I like the matte finish on it. Looks very cubical it's got two little round I wonder if I should try to peel these off or just cut them I'm just gonna cut them got some foam This is a USB cable. Now I've I've heard there were quality control issues with these USB cables. A rubber band holding it. Save this to shoot at my kids. It's nice and long. I do like how these are flat though. Those are nice. Nice for routing. Um, here is a different kind of USB cable. A, a USB host cable. I think this is probably to run your guide cam into your USB hub on the back of the camera. That was a fail. I'm going to try that again. It's, it's, this is a small one. <laughs> Get out of here. Yeah, the host camera for your guide camera. And here's another one. Or a host cable for your guide camera. Here's another one. These are spacers and adapters. 
Now it says it comes with enough spacers to get a... Oh, wait, that's a nice sound, isn't it? I love that sound. That, that aluminum on aluminum action. Um, it's set, Apparently it comes with enough spacers to reach 55 millimeters back focus. Quick start guide. Don't need that. Uh, nice little case here. And there she is. These are always bigger than you think they're going to be. The case feels nice. It's 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 insulated. I could use that for lunch. A little lunch. Goodness, those are beautiful. <laughs> this is this is the first dedicated astronomy camera I've ever owned. Um, yeah, it's got a USB hub on it, so you can hook things up to it without having a bunch of cables running to your computer. Let's take a look at this sensor. Now there have been issues with the uh, newer cameras it's got a gasket on there with the newer cameras having goo some kind of lubricant or something dripping down over the sensors um, when they're pretty new and uh, that's disappointing apparently, apparently all you gotta do is take it apart and clean it off and it will uh, and it doesn't come back but that's beautiful. That's that's a nice big sensor. We are going to capture some photons with that. All right, so I've got all the drivers installed. Um, I had to install the ASI driver and then the ASCOM driver. And I've got Nina booted up here. And in the camera controls, you select your camera. And then if you open up the settings, you can... edit what you want to oh here's this is where you can turn the uh, anti dew heater on in your ASCOM settings uh, but then over here you've got your cooler controls and it says the cooler power is at 39 percent and it's holding it at zero degrees cell well 0 0.3 degrees Celsius um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a dark frame now Um, I'm just going to take one 300 second frame. So let's go. Alright, so we got our first dark out of the 2600. Well, let's take a look at it. Ooh, warning, depreciated format. That looks pretty dark to me. <laughs> let's stretch it. Okay, uh yeah they've definitely got rid of the amp glow i don't see anything weird going on some horizontal banding kind of but yeah that's pretty clean point zero zero seven six yeah that's a good looking dark boy that's gonna that that camera is gonna give us a nice signal i think okay so that's the asi 26 100 monochrome you're looking at a dark from it just opened it up just took it uh, hopefully this week I can get get some lights for you and you can check those out but until then clear skies